So welcome everyone. My name is Anthony, if it's your first time to this channel. And today we're going to do a class called Chair Yoga to help relieve sciatica pain. So someone requested this video and the important thing to remember about healing anything yourself or improving anything, relieving any discomfort in the body is that one thing will never work for everyone, right? No matter what we're talking about, if there's some uh, treatment, even if it's medicine or any of these things, uh, physical therapy, all of this, it depends on your body. Everyone's completely unique, right? We can't generalize. There are some things, some movements that will help most people, right? Like 80%, even 90%. But there's always cases where, where certain movements that help everyone else either aggravate the condition and bring more pain, or just don't feel comfortable or right for the person's body. And that's why the most important thing to learn really is body sensitivity, right? So it's learning to be more sensitive to your body, what you're feeling. Because a lot of these pains that build up over time or come all of a sudden as an extreme pain are usually from, unless it's an injury, of course, but are usually from ignoring something over a long period of time or not being sensitive to the subtle sensations, the subtle signals that our body's given us, right? Say you have a discomfort in the knee for a long time, but you're not aware of it or you just push through it and push through it and then eventually something happens and it's you have to stay off your knee for a long time, right? For a week or two. So that's just a simple example, but that's what happens when we're not aware of the subtle sensations, subtle signals our bodies are trying to give us, okay? So while you're moving through these practices, try to keep that in mind, that if these don't feel right for you, if something doesn't feel right, don't do it. Skip that exercise or be aware of your body, be very sensitive and adjust, make adjustments so that it does feel right. So it feels like, ah, it feels good for your body, right? Look for the good feeling, okay? So when we're moving through these practices, we're gonna hold a little bit longer, we'll move a little bit slower, even though we normally do move pretty slow, right? <laughs> but we'll move even slower. And everything is just going until you begin to feel the stretch. Don't push into the posture, right? Remember that force is never helpful. It's, it's actually mostly harmful, okay? That's how we always get injured, is forcing into something, right? It's not the further you go, the more it will help, okay? It's going into it just until you feel the stretch and then just softening, breathing, relaxing the area. And if you feel some natural release, some natural softening, then going a bit further. Right? So no force, where we're moving from when we're folding. So for these exercises specifically, most of these exercises will also help with low back pain if you have low back discomfort or low back tightness and pain, okay? The exercises when we're doing them, we want, we're going to keep the back relatively straight for most, right? Because sometimes folding forward very, very deeply can aggravate or bother some people's back. So for this one, we're going to stay pretty much upright and focusing on folding from the crease below your buttocks, right? Just if you're not familiar with exactly what I'm talking about right here, right? Try to feel like you're folding from right here rather than from up here in your low back, okay? It doesn't matter how far you go but it matters how you get there, right? That's always the most important thing is how we do things, not what we do so much, right? So when you're folding forward, try not to fold like this from the upper back, see? Like you're starting your bend from the upper back, but start from the crease below your butt. And I would say for this, just for this practice, try to keep the back straight and don't fold down. Just come forward like this, okay? Back straight and feel from crease below your butt, pressing your sitting bones strongly down. Okay. You want to fold and stretch from the hip socket where your leg connects to your body, right, the upper part of the body, right here, and not from where your low back connects to your hip bones. Okay, So all down here, your sacrum, okay? but below that, crease below your buttocks. Okay, So just try to keep that in mind throughout. And most importantly, do whatever feels good for you. Focus on doing the postures that feel like they relieve the discomfort or relieve the pain. And if there's few of those that help, then just take those few that feel like they help you and then try those every day, okay? So that's enough of that, okay? 
Let's begin as usual, feet flat on floor, hands on knees, and let's get started. So just begin by letting the eyes softly close. And just feeling your natural breath, letting your body breathe on its own. Feel that sensation of expansion and contraction in your abdomen or chest, wherever you notice. And feel your sitting bones pressing firmly down into your chair. And allow all the weight of your upper body to sink down into your seat, feeling the upper body light and all the weight in the legs and seat. And then imagine there's a string tied to the crown of your head and it's being drawn straight up towards the ceiling, lengthening your spine, lifting the chest a little, relaxing shoulders down towards hips. On your next inhale, focus on breathing down into your abdomen, softening the sides front of your abdomen, even the muscles around the spine and the back. Allow your ribs to move a little bit. But try to focus most of your air down in the rib and abdomen area. And then begin deepening the breath even more, filling the abdomen coming all the way up to your chest. And take a few breaths, blending all three parts together, your belly, ribs, and chest. Just focusing on the smoothness of the breath. Try not to over inhale or over exhale, but just a comfortable amount. Inhale, exhale, bring your hands resting on your knees. Inhale, lift your chin towards ceiling, lengthening front of neck. Exhale, chin down to chest. Inhale, bring your head upright, open the eyes, lengthening the spine still. Press your seat firmly down into the chair. Press your sitting bones down and gently draw in below your navel. Not very hard, but just so you feel the area engage a little bit. Pressing down, engaging, breathing, and then release. And then again, press down strongly with your sitting bones, right? Like you're pressing down fronts of sitting bones drawing in a bit below your navel, just engaging that area so you feel it strong. Right? Feel like it draws everything in on the sides, right? supporting your whole abdomen, torso. And then release. And one more time like that. Draw your navel in a bit, press your sitting bones down, feeling like everything is drawing in in this area, right around your lower abdomen. and then release. Bring your hands underneath your left thigh, interlacing your fingers. Lift your thigh and begin circling your knee in either direction is fine. Again, focusing in that crease below the buttocks, just going as far as you can from there. If you feel like you come up and it gets into the low back, then you've gone too far. Try to stay low for this one, but going to the maximum at every side. Right? Maximum meaning the comfortable maximum, right? Not forcing anything, of course. 
and then reverse direction. Try to feel like you're just using your arm strength for this, right? So try not to use your leg and lift your knee intentionally, but use your hands. Just moving from your hip crease. And then bring your foot down. Bring your hands under your right leg, interlacing your fingers. Lift your leg. Again, supporting with hands, using hands. Begin circling either direction is fine. We'll go both ways. But try to go to your maximum, moving just from crease below buttocks. In reverse direction, circling other way. Bring the foot down. Inhale, upright. Exhale, hands around your left knee and draw your knee into your chest. We're gonna breathe and hold here. So try to lift and support with your hands so you don't feel like you're trying to hold your leg up or your knee up with your body, with your abdomen and your leg. Just supporting with hand. And then soften, try to relax deep inside your hip crease. Feel like you're only stretching and moving from crease below your buttocks. Try to feel your glute stretching a little bit, your butt muscle. Drawing in, still lifting your chest, drawing down back, right? Pressing your seat firmly down to ground. You could even draw the navel in a little bit to support. Breathe. Exhale, come down. Bring your hands around your right knee. Exhale, draw your knee in. Again, just as much as you can from below your buttocks, supporting with your hands completely. And trying to relax your leg, relax deep inside your hip joint. Try to feel some of the stretch in the glute, your butt muscle. Breathe. Exhale, bring your foot down. And then we're gonna come standing. So we'll come standing behind the chair. I'm just gonna turn this around so you can see. Hands on chair, feet about hip distance apart. Inhale, lift your chest, and then exhale, sit back from crease below your buttocks, deepening your hip creases, drawing in space below your navel a bit, hand support. Only go back as far as you can when you feel like you're moving from here, below the buttocks. If you feel like you're rounding the low back and bending like this, then don't go down that far. Go down just until you feel like you're moving from here. Lifting your chest, keeping all the weight in the feet, strong, stable legs. Try to press down pads of your big toes intentionally. Right? If you feel the weight rolling out to pinky sides of your feet, breathe. Inhale, come up. Exhale, sit back, same as before, with our breath now. Inhale up. When you sit back, try to focus on feeling the glute stretching. Exhale, sit back, try to soften from below your buttocks, outsides of hips and glute. Inhale up. Exhale, sit back. Two more times like that. Exhale, we'll sit back this time and hold here. Breathe. Again, trying to keep all the weight in the feet. Try not to feel anything shifting to the low back. If you do, come up higher. Try to move just from below buttocks, right? Not rounding in low back much. Supporting with hands. Well, you can also shift a little more weight towards front of your feet and hands. Breathe. Inhale, come up. Exhale, fold down to your chair. You can have hands on chair, again, from below your buttocks. If this is where you feel the stretch, right here with hands on chair, you can stay here. Or bring your hands down to chair. But again, 
If you feel like the, you're folding from just low back like this, then come up and try, try to just go down with a flat back, right, from below your butt. So you really want to focus on stretching butt muscles and outsides of thighs. Right? Fold down, breathing here. If it's comfortable, you can round your back, but again, listen to your body, right? See what feels good for you. If that feels fine, then feel free. Press down firmly with your feet, pads of big toes, the outside edges of your heels, inside edges of heels, everything down. Breathe deeply. Inhale, bring your hand to top of chair. If you're down at the bottom, come up. And then step your left foot back. Half to full legs length. Back foot's 45 degrees to front. Most important, you want to have a stance short enough that you feel like your back heel is firmly planted on the ground. And when we fold forward, you don't want the back heel to lift. Right, so if the back heel lifts, then shorten your stance a little bit, stepping your foot up and more. Okay? You can make your stance wider or closer together. Right? So if your feet are close together and you feel unbalanced or unstable, then bring your feet wider apart, out to the sides this way. Okay? Inhale, lengthen your spine, and again from just below the buttocks. Exhale, fold forward, right here. Inhale, come up. Exhale, fold down from below the buttocks. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. One more time, this time we'll hold. Exhale, fold. Remember with your chair, you're always pressing forward, not back like this because the chair will lift, right? It's always better to have a chair where the legs come out a little bit wider, of course. But try to keep most of the weight in your feet, right? Not depending on the chair with all of the weight, leaning all the weight on the chair, but just using it there for support. Pressing firmly down into the feet, folding from below buttocks and breathe deeply. We're holding a bit longer than usual. Remember, just go until you begin to feel the stretch and then observing, breathing deeply and just waiting for some natural release, right? Remember, the muscles take a long time to get habitually tight, right? The same way of walking over and over again, same movements over and over again. So it takes a long time for them to soften, to release naturally, right? So consistency is the key, right? But also gentleness and patience. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Inhale, step your right foot back. Half to full legs length. Again, it can be as short as you need to keep your back heel firmly planted down. Square the hips forward as best you can. You can again adjust the width of your stance, wider or shorter. Inhale. Exhale, just from below your buttocks, trying to keep back as straight as you can, just using hands for guidance all the way to the feet. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale full, inhale up, exhale fold and hold. Try if you can to press, to feel the stretch from the crease below buttocks, but also on, towards the outside, on the outside of your hip. So you feel like you're stretching your glute, your butt muscle. Breathe here, long, deep breaths while we hold. Focus on consciously softening, right? Using your mind to relax the muscles, relax the area. So sometimes when the hamstrings are really tight, the, the backs of the thighs are really tight, that tends to pull on the low back, right? Because this joint here, right? Our low back, our low back, and then our hamstrings, 
right? There's a movable joint in between there, right? Our hips. So whichever one's tighter, it's gonna pull on the opposite. In other words, if your back muscles are weak, your hamstrings are tight, it's gonna pull down this way, right? If your hamstrings are real soft, which is pretty rare, but if they're really loose and your back's real tight, it would pull, pull up on the hamstrings, right? Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, step to the front. And then we'll come back sitting down. Inhale, feet flat on the floor, hip distance apart, right? Sweep your hands up, shoulder width apart. Exhale, bring your right hand to the outside of your left knee and your left hand by your hip. Remember, you're not twisting in your low back. This is very gentle, softening your abdomen. And we'll breathe here. Try not to force. Remember, it doesn't matter how far you go, especially in a twist, never force. Now press your sitting bones firmly down. Normally when we twist, right, we focus here between your hips and ribs. You are twisting there a bit, but here focus on pressing your sitting bones firmly down and try to feel like you're stretching here, gently drawing this left knee in. So you feel again around your glute, the outside of your hip here stretching, okay? The crease below your buttocks, but on the outside of your hip. And breathe here, focus there, relaxing that area, consciously softening that area. Gently drawing in with your right hand on your left leg. Keep lengthening your spine, reaching towards ceiling. And be sensitive to your body, notice what you're feeling in that area. And it's amazing how much things you can consciously soften and relax, right, if you bring awareness to them. There's so many tensions or tightnesses in the body that we're not aware of, right? Just because we're not used to feeling, being sensitive to the body. But once you are, then you can bring attention to it and consciously relax, right? Inhale, turn forward, sweep your hands up. Exhale, bring left hand to right knee, right hand by your hip, and gently turn right. Again, not going real far in the upper body, we're not focusing there. We're focusing more on pressing your sitting bones firmly down first, all the way to the seat, and then gently drawing in with this left hand so you feel this right knee come over a bit and from crease below your buttocks on outside of hip. That's where you wanna feel the stretch, consciously relaxing. Right, it's just like, did you ever, um, did you ever meet someone or uh, know someone maybe who's very tense or has a lot of stress or tension? If you go over and you touch their neck, right, it goes and relaxes down very noticeably, right? Even happens in class a lot, right? If you say relax the neck and then you go over and touch someone's neck, right, it goes down a lot more, right? It's because we're not aware of it. We're not aware of how much we can relax it, how tense it is actually, right? Until someone touches it, we feel, you know, brings attention to that area. So try to learn how to do that. Be aware of those areas and consciously relax your muscles with your mind. Inhale, turn forward, sweep your hands up, palms together. Exhale to your heart. Okay, so this next one is one that I don't think I've uh, done in any other video so far. I like it very much. See how it feels for you. So we're gonna to turn towards the left first, completely towards the left, right? So you're totally facing left. Then you're gonna slide your sitting bone, right? For some of us, like, like me, it's already hanging off, but if it's not, then slide your right butt cheek off the, off the chair. So you just have your left butt muscle and your sitting bone firmly planted in the chair, right? You're not hanging off the edge of the chair. All the weight is in your left hip right, your left leg. So, so it's firmly, strongly supported in this leg. Wrap your left arm around the top of your chair like this, see? So you're fully supported by here where you could even lift this leg if you wanted to, okay? Inhale and exhale, slide this right foot back. Now, if this is where you start to feel the stretch, then this is fine. We're focusing on stretching the front of your hip, your thigh, but especially front of your hip. 
You can come back as far as is comfortable for you. You can stay on your toes, or you can come onto your top of your toes like this. Right? You can slide your knee back as far as is comfortable until you feel the stretch. You don't have to go back this far. Okay? Support yourself with your arm and your leg. Okay? Lift your chest, draw down your back, press your left sitting bone strongly down, and let your knee relax towards ground so you feel front of your hip lengthening. And breathe here. If you need more of a stretch, you don't feel the stretch here, then slide your foot back more. You can also stay on toes if you like. I prefer to be on top of foot, but whatever works for you. Lift and lengthen like you're reaching your rib and your shoulder up away from your hip and your knee. Until you feel a stretch in front of your hip, relaxing the abdomen, right? This is a great posture because, in, in, especially in the seated postures, we don't have many postures that we can get the leg back and feel stretch the front of the body like this, right? So this is a good one. Let's see how it feels for you. Feel free to adjust so it does feel right for your body. Breathe deeply. Remember, just going until you feel sensation, breathing, relaxing area, waiting for some release. For some of us, if you have long legs, you, the knee might even touch the ground, right? Then it's really, really no effort there, okay? Inhale. Slide your right foot forward. You can even use your hand to help your leg come forward. Gently turn towards front of mat. And then come right over to the other side. Remember, do all of this slowly and consciously. Okay, so... If just in my own experience, I noticed that you only get injured, I only got injured when I'm moving unaware, right? Quickly rushing without awareness of what I'm doing, not consciously taking steps, consciously moving, consciously picking things up, right? It's always when we're not aware, right? Which we all do. We're not aware and we, we're just go real quick, grab this, throw it in the car, grab this, get up real quick, you know? Like that. And that's when we have accidents, it's when we fall. Right? So try to be aware of everything, especially when you're practicing. That's where we nurture that, we, where we build that skill. And then it naturally goes into the day. So while we're practicing, always try to do everything consciously, right? So we turn, and then we just slide this left, uh, left butt cheek off the chair, right? So pressing down with the right sitting bone strongly into chair. And again, feel free to play with the distance until it feels right for your sitting bones, for your hips, right? If there's a sharp pressure or discomfort, adjust. Bring your right arm around back of your chair. Remember, all weight is in your right sitting bone and your right foot. Then begin to slide your left foot back. Again, you can keep it here, relaxing your knee down. You can come onto top of foot, like that. If you don't feel the stretch yet, again, you can slide back as far as you need. If your thighs are really long and knee touches the ground, that's fine. You can bring your knee down to the ground, okay? Otherwise, still same as before, you can be on your toes or top of your foot but reaching your knee away, supporting yourself on this right leg here, the right sitting bone, and reaching your ribs and shoulder up away from your hip, lengthening your side, feeling front of your hips stretching, breathe deeply. Doesn't really matter where this hand is, you can bring it by your side, on your thigh. Long, deep breaths, consciously relaxing, front of your hip, front of your thigh, if you feel the stretch go away or lessen, you can slide your foot back a bit more until you feel the stretch again. Inhale, slide your leg forward. Again, you can use your hand, slide it up. Turn forward. And then slide all the way to the back of your chair. Have your back against the chair a bit, okay? Bring your feet a bit closer together. And we're gonna do two postures here. So bring your torso upright. Lengthen your spine, press your sitting bones down. If back of the chair touches your low back, then let your low back be supported here, okay? So have your low back against the chair if you have a chair that goes down that low, okay? Feet under your ankles, and then we're gonna bring your left leg over on top of your right. 
Now, if this is too much, we're not gonna stay here letting the knee come out yet. We're gonna warm first. So bring your leg across. If I don't know if you've ever seen, I can't sit comfortably like this. I never understood how people can, but there are people, <laughs> there are people who can sit like this, you know, right? Crossing the legs, like you're putting one knee on top of the other. This is very comfortable for a lot of people. And we're going to start like this. So just come as close as you can to this. No forcing again, right? If this is where you are, that's okay because we're gonna support the knee. So you bring your hands around your knee, okay? If your leg is down like this, that's okay. Just have your hands around your knee. Come up as far as comfortable. And remember, no forcing. Remember that your hip, like we talked about earlier, is between the hamstrings and the low back, if we talk about the big muscles, right? So you wanna to try to focus by pressing your sitting bones down and lifting your chest and lengthening your spine on stretching below your hips, or not your hip, joint, but below your back, right? So you crease below your buttocks. Okay? Try to focus on stretching from there, down here. Gently drawing in towards your body, and relax your leg. Try to just do this with your arm strength. Okay? Drawing in, softening your butt muscle, softening your glute. In Portuguese, um, glute, your butt is called a bunda. Just for your, uh, for your own knowledge, if you ever go to Brazil. Mm -hmm. Inhale, release, and bring your leg down. You can support with your hand. Bring your right leg onto your left. Again, same thing as before. Like you're trying to bring the knees on top of each other without any force. Doesn't matter how far. If you're comfortable sitting like that, bring the knee right on top. Bring your hands around your knee. Again, try to draw more on the thigh than on your knee. Gently draw your knee towards your body. Focus on softening the right butt muscle. Relax, consciously soften. Remember, if you feel up in the back, then try to press down strongly with your seat, lengthen your spine, move from just below your buttocks, and you can back off a little too, right? Drawing in just until you feel the stretch. If you ever notice, sometimes when muscles are really, really tight, like over a long period of time, we never stretch them, then the muscle can feel so tight that it feels almost immovable, right? If you ever had a muscle that um, is cramping, sometimes there's muscles that feel like that, that hard, like a rock, right? And you almost can't feel anything when you massage them, can't feel anything when you stretch them. And your awareness is the key to, to, to remedy that, right? That if you keep bringing your attention to the muscle, just the area we're trying to stretch, it's okay if you don't feel a stretching sensation. And just breathe, relax, bring your attention there, bring your awareness there. And eventually you'll begin to feel it. So the breath and the awareness. And then release the leg. Again, slide your ankle over as far as is comfortable, natural for you. Bring your left hand to the outside of your right knee, your right hand down by your chair, your hip supporting on the base of the chair, leg of the chair. And then gently, remember not twisting, right? That is a possible posture, but not one that we're going to do now for the low back, right? Focus on the outside of your hip, just below your buttocks, gently drawing your knee over towards your left side. Straight left, breathing here, lift the chest, lengthen your spine, drawing over, breathing. Consciously relaxing the area. Inhale, release. Bring your feet flat on floor. And then bring your left ankle onto your right knee. So you can let your knee relax out. 
you can stay here with just the knee on the ankle or you can draw your knee over towards your right. So you're sliding your ankle off of your knee, by sliding the leg down a bit. And we're focusing on here, pressing the sitting bones strongly down into the seat and moving and stretching again from crease below your buttocks. So no twisting in the low back, right? Normally we would do this twist, this movement, twisting between hips and ribs, but this is a little different. We're focusing still on the glute the outside of your hip and your butt muscle, right? So gently drawing your knee over just until you feel a stretch right here, the crease below your buttocks again, right? Outside of your hip, no twisting in low back. Hand, uh, left hand can be on the chair, grasping the leg, wherever is comfortable. Remember, lengthen your spine, press your sitting bones strongly down and breathe deeply. Relax your neck, lengthen your spine. Remember, just go until you begin to feel sensation of stretch and then waiting, breathing, observing, and use your breath. If you feel some softening, some release, then letting your knee come over a bit more. But try to make sure again that the stretch, and the, the stretch doesn't come from above your hip bones, from up your low back or your sacrum area. We don't wanna twist there. Come down in your hip, your hip crease. And inhale, release, turn forward, bring your left foot down to ground, come all the way to the back of the chair and rest your back against the chair. Bring your feet out if you like, resting the, resting the thighs strongly on the chair, letting all the weight rest down through the legs and feet. Hands can be in your lap, on your thighs, palms up or down. And just let your whole body be supported back against the back of the chair, the weight of the body resting down in the seat, the feet, letting the eyes softly close. And just let go of that full breath. Come back to your normal, natural breathing, however that happens. Consciously soften, relax your forehead. and soften your eyebrows and all the small muscles around your eyes. Allow your eyes to relax back into the head a bit. And focusing your gaze on that blank space on the backs of your eyelids. Without straining, eyes relax. Soften your cheeks and your jaw muscles and allow your shoulders to relax down towards your hips. Feel like the weight of your upper body sinks into your seat and the weight of your legs sinks into your feet. And then just focus on that sensation of expansion and contraction in your body. Right? Wherever you feel it with your breath, that expansion of the air in your abdomen or chest. But also on the sensations in the body. Right? Be aware if there's any change in the sensations of your body. In other words, the sensations that allow you to know where the parts of your body are with the eyes closed. Notice if there's any change in those sensations that coincides with your breathing. As you inhale, as you exhale, just being aware, there's nothing, nothing that's right or wrong, nothing you should feel. Just feeling whatever you do, whatever you feel. If the mind wanders, just come back to the breath, start again. 
just being with each breath, one at a time, letting everything else go for a few moments. And then letting go of the breath, letting go of the sensations. Feel free to remain here and relax if you like, or begin to slowly deepen your breath again. Making small movements with hands and feet, waking your body up, your neck if you like. And when you feel ready, opening your eyes. So thank you all for practicing with me today. And I hope this has helped you, give you some relief. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions about anything, uh, how any of the postures, you know, could be done to, to help if they don't feel comfortable for your body. And let me know if you find any relief from this, right? How it felt in your body, right? And if you have anything specific that you'd like to see a video on, remember you can always let me know and I'll try to, I'll try to make one like this, okay? So remember we're gonna be doing a 30 Days of Chair Yoga series in uh, January, starting January 1st, and I'll, I'll let you all know when, when we're doing that, and we'll, I'll put it in the community section. I'll also uh, be sharing it in my Facebook group if you're, if you're over there, okay? So we're going to do 30 days from January 2nd to January 31st, 30 days of chair yoga every day. It'll be like 10 to 15 minute classes, shorter, uh, shorter classes, but the key is consistency. That's what I'm hoping, uh, to give you a taste of what, what it feels like or the benefits that you can get with consistent practice, even with shorter practices, doesn't matter, but the consistency is the key, right? So uh, I'll be doing that January 2nd and I'll let you know, okay? If you have any other questions or anything you'd like to see on the channel, let me know in the comments, right? And until next time, take care. See you then.